Hi everyone, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today, I would like to give you three simple tips to hit your driver better. Number one, the driver setup is different to the irons, so you gotta make sure that you set up correctly. Number two, we gotta make sure we hit the ball on the up on the downswing. So you gotta make sure that you're staying behind the ball and your body is tilt towards the right side, especially for right-handed golfers, your body is tilt towards the right side on the downswing. Number three is swinging it smooth. The best feeling of hitting a good drive is when you walk up to the tee box feeling really confident, knowing for a fact that you will be able to bomb this drive down the fairway, hitting the distance you want, the direction you want, and of course, out driving everyone in your flight. All right, and this is how we do it. Okay, I'm just gonna aim it slightly down the right side of this fairway. exactly where I want it to be. As I mentioned, the driver setup and the irons is totally different, okay? We want to hit the ball on the up, so we're gonna make sure we set up correctly with the driver. Okay, this is how you do it. I suggest everyone to set up with your left hand first. I mean, of course, after a while of playing, it might get very natural, like, you know, you just put the club down and then knowing for a fact that you're gonna set up correctly. But for beginners, or amateur golfers, I would suggest you, or people that are struggling with setups, I would suggest that you do this. So grip the club with your left, left hand, okay? And then put your feet together. I would like for you to open your left foot, maybe about a fist wide, okay? About a fist wide. And then the right foot, just right outside the right shoulder. Then from here, you're gonna put your right hand in, but just don't make, make sure that you just don't do this, okay? You're gonna tilt the spine, and reach, you're gonna feel like you're tilting your spine, the right shoulder will drop until your right hand reach the grip. Okay, you can see that my spine is slightly tilted towards the right side. My left hip will look a bit higher than my right hip. And the ball is somewhere inside my left heel. And this will be your driver setup. Some people tend to set up like this. Ball in the middle, handle right in front of the belly button, just like the irons, chest over the ball. This will actually lead to a steep downswing and you're gonna start hitting it down. Either you're gonna pop the ball up straight in the air or of course just hitting it like a punch shot and the ball is not gonna come off the ground. Number two will be the tilt and the downswing, okay? We want to hit the ball on the up, okay? We want to catch the ball on the up. For the irons and the wedges, yes, we want to hit a bit down. Even though for the hybrids, maybe it's a bit down as well. But we, for hybrids and woods, we want to brush through the ground. But then for the driver, we want to hit it on the up. So how to catch it on the up, first of all, as I mentioned, is the setup. Number two is that impact. We're going to make sure that our body is tilt towards the right side. Our head is behind the ball, okay? And this will actually allow you to power through and extend and release the club correctly. If we hit the ball like the iron when the chest is a bit over, again, it's going to get a bit steep and you're going to duff the drive and not be able to hit the ball at the optimum speed. The third one will be swinging it smooth. It's very important that we swing the longer club smoothly. It's because if we try to hit it hard or hit it fast, our tendency is to create a steep swing. It doesn't happen with the long clubs, all right? So you're just going to make sure you swing it smooth. For me, I tend to tell myself to swing it at 80%, okay? If I swing it at 80%, I'll swing it a lot smoother. I'll be able to use the bigger muscles, which is my lower body, my chest, my, my hip, my, my, uh, my thighs, my legs. So I'll be able to use the bigger muscles to hit the longer clubs and create, definitely create more distance. Yes, we do use our hands in the swing. That's, that's gonna happen naturally. So I always suggest people to focus more on the body so you will be able to swing smoother. Let's go. 
it's very important that you try to keep your balance so you actually know that what is your swing speed a speed that you can control something like that a lot of us tend to yank the backswing up because we know that we need to swing it fast to hit it far right so some of us tend to just yank the club up fast and then not knowing that if i bring it up fast i will actually slow down the downswing because i won't be able to speed up if i'm going back really fast or some of us will rush the transition in the downswing where we use too much hand the club will come outside and then you hit that slice that we do not want to see okay so you just got to make sure you swing smooth just like this I'm gonna feel like I'm swinging 80% and I'll definitely find a fair way all right guys when you're on a tee box playing with your friends and some of your friends already teed off before you hitting it 250 meters down the fairway and then the ego kicks in you try to beat him the muscle gets a bit tense before you hit the ball and ended up hitting a bad shot okay so just try to focus on the three tips that i've mentioned earlier which is make sure your setup is correct make sure you feel like you're going to hit up on the ball stay behind the ball a bit at impact number three again swing it smooth all right so try these three tips have confidence trust it i'm sure you're going to hit it pretty solid all right this is how it's going to look like take a couple of breaths to swing all right just focus on the target okay again good setup can we just one swing thought swinging it smooth i'm going to swing in 80 percent I hit that pretty solid exactly where I wanted to go. Again, don't be surprised that you actually outdrove your flight mate. guys that's all i have for today i hope the three tips that i've mentioned will be able to help you hit your drive better again trust yourself know for a fact that what you have worked on the driving range will work on the golf course and be confident and play without fear